My name is Michelle Long and I'm a CPA and an Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. I'm the owner of Long for Success and I would encourage you to subscribe to my blog to get future QuickBooks tips and updates like the one I'm going to share with you today. What I'm going to share today in this quick video is how to record merchant service fees or PayPal fees or Intuit Payment Network fees. How do you record those fees in QuickBooks when it's taken out of every transaction? Now some of you might have an account with your merchant service provider where they take out the, the fees in one bulk amount at the end of the month or something and that's not what I'm talking about here. But where on every transaction they're taking that fee out. For example, if you're using Intuit Payment Network and receiving an e-check, they take 50 cents out of each transaction transaction or in PayPal they take a fee out of each transaction so that's what I'm showing you here so if we've already created the invoice for a, a customer here and they owe us eleven hundred dollars when I go to receive that payment I want to make sure I give them credit for the full amount that they paid me the eleven hundred dollars so I'm gonna go ahead and enter the payment received from the customer for the full amount of eleven hundred dollars and then I go ahead and click save or alternatively, if you're not doing an invoice, then you may come in and do it as a sales receipt, but you still would enter the full amount, the full $1,100. Then when we come across to record the deposit, this is where we're going to be entering that fee. So we're going to go ahead and select the $1,100 payment that we have from them. And on the next line, you're going to enter like the credit card fees expense account. Maybe you have merchant service fees. Maybe you set it up as PayPal fees, whatever name you call that. And then you're going to come over here and put a negative amount in for, let's say it was a $30 fee so that your deposit down here nets to the same amount that actually hit your account. So you give the customer credit for paying in full. Then you come on the bank deposit window, post it to the expense account or cost of goods sold account, wherever you've decided to set that up, enter it as a negative amount, and double check that the net amount down here matches what was actually deposited into your account. And that's how quick and easy that is. So I hope this has helped you.